everyone. So in today's video, I wanna share with you all the items that we got for Connor's school lunches. I did a lot of online research on uh, products and brands and systems that I thought would really work best for us. Um, I'm very new to this. This is Connor's our first child that has gone to school and uh, the whole school lunch box, you know, packing system is very new to me. So I, you know, try to pick, um, again, systems and brands that I thought would really work well for us. So I'm going to go over everything that we got and the things that I like and the things that I don't like. So starting off over here is the lunch box that we got for Connor. We decided to get him this Under Armour one because we have noticed that Under Armour um, lasts the longest in our home. Um, my husband wears a lot of Under Armour. Connor has some Under Armour, you know, shirts and uh, baseball hats and things like that. And it just seems to be a really great brand that um, can withstand a lot of wear and tear. So we decided to go ahead and get him this lunch box. Uh, this box was about $27, and so we're hoping that uh, by investing a little bit more money into a nicer lunch box that it will last him a couple of years. It would be really great if we got two, three, if not four years out of this lunch box, so we'll see if we can do that. Uh, over here is this Rubbermaid sandwich kit that we got. Um, I purchased this from Walmart for $8, and um, I really wanted some reusable um, food organizers that I could put in his lunch box. I didn't really want to use the plastic bags just because those are so wasteful and I just really wanted something that I could reuse and it was already like a system so I could buy other little containers that kind of go with this system and again this was the just sandwich kit. Back here I got the Bentco Kids uh, Durable Leak Proof Children's Lunch Box which um, I'm going to return and I will explain to you in a little bit what my thoughts are on this. Um, it is a nice lunch box. It's definitely Definitely a durable, uh, good quality lunchbox, but I'll just explain to you the uh, reason why I don't really like it for uh, my situation, I guess you could say. And then over here is Connor's water bottle. Now we've owned this, I didn't have to buy this. It's a Camelback brand, and I believe we spent $15 on this on Amazon. And the Bentco uh, lunch box was $27. So I'm gonna break everything down, show you what works, and show you what doesn't work. Okay, now starting with Connor's lunch box. Um, Connor, what Connor really liked about it was the color scheme, that it was the lime green with the gray, and then the inside of it has this pretty um, blue to it. Now what I like about this lunch box is that the inside of it is water resistant, so you have this hard plastic piece here, and this material up here you can tell is a water resistant um, material, so if there's something in the lunch kit that bursts, like a juice box or something leaks out, um, it makes a huge mess, I should be able to bring it home and rinse it out, clean it out real well, let it air dry, and it shouldn't, you know, stain the outside of it. And even like this outside material uh, seems to be like a water resistant material, which I really like. So um, again, we thought it would be worth it to spend a little bit more money to get a better quality lunchbox. Hopefully we can get a few years out of it. And then the next thing I wanna share with you are the little Rubbermaid organizers for the lunch kit. And I'll go over all the little organizers and then kind of like how I plan to pack it in the lunch box. So starting off with this smaller one here, which is uh, for the sandwich. Now, if you guys also have some tips on what is good to, you know, different types of sandwiches to pack for your kid, I just don't want Connor to get sick of peanut butter and jelly sandwich because that's kind of all I would think that he would like. But if you guys have something that your child likes that you think Connor would like, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you uh, pack for your children. So something I wanted to share with you, which I thought was a really neat tip from Kimmy over at Cheese in Her Apron was um, she said that she packs or she makes all of her uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches ahead of time and she freezes them. That way um, they can take them out of the freezer, put it directly in the lunch kit and by the time lunch comes around, they have thawed out and they are not like soggy or gross or anything. And a tip that she shared, I'll zoom in real quick. There we go. Uh, a tip that she shared was that on uh, each side of the bread, she put the peanut butter first and then she put the jelly in the middle. That way, whenever it um, is in the freezer or is in the lunchbox, the jelly doesn't kind of seep through the bread and make it soggy, which I thought was such a great idea. That's why I love YouTube so much, is all the little tips like that that you never would have picked up on um, yourself. But again, this is the little lunch, um, the sandwich kit which is uh, you know perfect size and fits you know just one sandwich and then over here is the bigger container for the Rubbermaid I think they said this is a cup I believe of uh, oh it says it right here nope it doesn't I believe it's a cup and uh, I think this is perfect for you know goldfish or um, some kind of little salty treat, some kind of like crunchy salty treat that he would want with his um, sandwich. I'm really gonna try to not send like potato chips and things like that. I want him to have something that's just 
a little bit better. I don't know how great goldfish would be for them, but I would imag imagine they're better than just potato chips. Um, and then over here are these little smaller ones that um, I just put some grapes in this one and um, kind of the same thing with this. I just put some applesauce that, you know, again, I, I just would assume that this would be the way that I would pack his school lunch. And uh, just to kind of show you, because somebody asked me the other day about the Under Armour uh, lunchbox because they got one as well as the system and that this worked. So far it works really well. So again, you have your sandwich right there put like the goldfish right there, and then the little containers right there. And of course, depending on how I'm gonna pack Connor's lunch for that day, like if I have a juice box that fits right there, it's almost kind of like Tetris. See how fun that is to have everything in its appropriate place. I also have an ice pack that would go right there, kind of slide it over to go over like the cold stuff, which is a sandwich, and like the juice and the um, fruit and things like that. And also a little uh, Greek yogurt yogurt tube that goes right there and it's packed up nice and neat. Now if there's days where I want to pack um, instead of a ju uh, juice box something like Connor's water bottle which again I got this off of Amazon for about 15 bucks and uh, it's leak resistant this little um, straw thing up here clicks down like that and it won't leak out and even when it's up it won't leak out unless you press this but uh, this is great. Um, I want him to make, you know, get enough water throughout the day. So that fits right there. And so these are the ice packs that I got for his lunchbox. Um, I originally saw these at Academy and that's where I got these, but I've seen them on Amazon since then. I'm not sure the name of them. It has a penguin on the front of it, but they're, uh, not very expensive at all. I think they were like seven, eight bucks. And uh, they're skinny, which I like, which is perfect for just slipping into the little pocket of a lunch kit. And it's wide, so it hopefully, you know, covers a lot of real estate when it comes to what you're trying to keep cold. So I really like that. So hopefully that will work well for me. And the one item that I purchased that I don't really like and I'm gonna return is this, which is the Bentco Kids uh, Lunch Kit. Now, again, it's a great product um, as far as the durability, and I think it would work really well if you have a smaller child. But for Connor and his age, it's just not something I feel like he will grow with. Um, I feel like the amount of food that's in here or the amount of food that I could put in here is already maxed out for him and uh, what would work well for him and his lunches. Now, if he was three, like two to three years old and I just wanted to pack a little bit uh, food in here to send with him, um, you know, to pre-K or to grandma's house and things like that. I think this would actually work really well, but for a school age kid that you have to put in a lunch box and send them to school, um, to me, I just don't really like it because I feel like it really uh, doesn't give me a lot of um, options for, you know, what I pack in here. Um, these little spaces are pretty small, so I just feel like I would have to only, you know, pick select things that are small enough or, you know, the way that they're shaped to fit in these little compartments. Uh, could I make it work? Yes, of course, but I just feel like for the price, um, I didn't really like it. So again, I think if I had a smaller child, I think it would work just fine. My biggest complaint was this, that it just won't really fit in a lunch box. I mean, I'm sorry, it fits, but it's, I can't put any other kind of, I can't really put any other kind of, you know, food in there for him. Again, I could make it work if I really, you know, forced it, but I'm just going to return it. And uh, for me personally, what I like is these little um, food containers because I feel like these work uh, the best right now. Again, as the school year progresses, I might, you know, find something I don't like or something that might work a little bit better. But so far, I'm happy with the system that I have. So that is it for my review and opinions about all these products. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.